Finally, my shift has ended. I really hate my job. Rose. W, what is it, miss? You're fired. B, boss. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm kidding? You always come here late. You have two days of absence. Mom, I had a fever. That's why I didn't came here for today's. Do I look like I care? Now get out. You're fired. B, but mom, who will be your baker if I'm gone? I found a better baker than you, okay? Now get out of here. <laughs> That was the only job that accepted me, and the only job I know. Mom, Dad, I'm really sorry. I can't help you for the taxes anymore. I'm just gonna go for a drink. H, hey, can you give me a bottle of beer? Sure, miss. A couple of hours later. And you know what? She really is a bossy brat who thinks she can find a better baker than me. She kinda has the same attitude as my boss who thinks that she's perfect in every way like Brew. I know, right? Having a boss really sucks. You know what? We've been talking for hours. Can we be friends or something? Sure. What's your name? I'm Chloe. You? My name is Rose. Hum. Okay. Nice to meet you. Anyway, I have to go home now. My mom and dad will KGL me if I won't go home early. Bye, Chloe. Bye, Rose. Now I need to sober up. Well, at least I made a friend. How dare she cheat on me? Wow, I didn't knew this whole place could spin. Miss, are you drunk or Samithi? What the heck? Next day. Where have you been last night? I, I was in my friend's house. Okay, first of all, you don't have any friends. And second, who allowed you to go to anyone's house? And third, why the heck do you have an alpha mark? Damien. What are you talking about? Young lady, where were you last night? Eh, fine. I got fired yesterday, that's why I went to the bar to drink a little. Then why did you got home this morning? No, please. Not dad. He's scary when he's angry. Okay, fine. I woke up in a hotel room, okay? I'm debt. I'm totally debt. Tell me the name of the person who brought you there. I don't know what he looks like, okay? I was drunk. Your debt mate today, Rose. And of course, that became the worst day of my life. They're totally going to KGL me. And two weeks later, I found out that I am pregnant with twins. Six years later. Why the heck is my son smart? Ashley, Ash, what are you both doing? Mom, Ash is teaching me how to read. Oh, okay. Anyway, kids, mom is going out to look for a job so that mom could help grandma and grandpa to pay the taxes. Mom? You're going to look for a job wearing that. Why? Is there a problem of what I'm wearing? Mom, could you change into more formal clothes? Ash, you're still a kid. How dare you order me around? Uh, sorry, Mom. It's just because you'll never be accepted in any job if you wear that to apply. I'll get going now. Mom, remember to always hide your mark. Bye, kids. Bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. I bet mom will never be accepted in any job cause of what she's wearing. We're still gonna count a new to read. Time skip again for hours later. How is this random dude so tall? 10 job interviews and none of them accepted me. Those companies lost their chance to have the best employee in the world. Oh, come on. I have two kids to raise for whoever's sake. <laughs> Why, why, wait. Why are you crying? I, I got fired from my job. Okay, okay. Whatever you do, don't go to the bar cause you got fired. Why shouldn't I? I mean, I'm heading there right now. Okay, trust me. If you go to the bar, you may really need a job to feed your future kids. Ish, huh? What are you talking about? Trust me. I did that, and I ended up having two kids. W what? Never mind. Anyway, why did you got fired? I am the assistant of the CEO of the company that I'm working for, but... You tried to explain, but before you could start, those crybaby tears, they come out of the dark. He fired me because I was late for one minute. Your CEO is such a perfectionist. Anyway, is your spot still open? I, it's open. The CEO barely hires employees. Do you think I could be qualified? I, I honestly don't know, but I guess it's worth a try. But I'm sure you'll also get fired eventually. Thanks, kid. Just don't go to the bar. I'll be going now. I, 
Do you like me? You keep staring at me. I was staring at the brown-haired girl. B but she already have a boyfriend. Sorry, I'm not into shorties. Hi miss, I'm looking for a job. Are you hiring? Yep, totally. Can I have your resume? Oh frick, oh frick. I forgot my resume. Um, I sorta forgot my resume. How can we hire you if you don't have any resume? I uh... The CEO is the only one who can hire a person without a resume or a bio data in this company. Can I talk to the CEO? You can talk to him. Jay just good luck. His office is over there. Just go straight and then turn left. Okay. I'm sure he will roast her I feel bad for her. Don't you know how to knock? Ah uh ha -huh. I'm sorry about that sir. What do you want? Uh, I'm looking for the CEO of this company. I'll kinda need a job. You are looking for the CEO. Why yes sir. See can you tell me where's his office? I'm kinda lost. I'm sorry but the CEO is not hiring. Good day miss. I'm sorry sir but I don't need your opinion. All I need is for the CEO to hire me. Now, could you please tell me where his office is? I don't want to waste my time in a trash employee like you. Miss, do you know who you're talking to? I'm afraid I don't know who you are. Now, could you please tell me where's the CEO's office? You know what? I don't think if the CEO need an ugly, unrespectful employee like you. I don't think that the CEO need any trash, arrogant employee like you either. How dare you say that to me? Such an arrogant bastard. Unqualified. Now get out of my office. Who are you to say that to me? Darling, I'm the one and only CEO in this company. Why you're kidding, right? Do I look like I'm kidding? Yes, sir. I'll look for another job then. Again. Wait. What if I show him my mark so that he could pay back for unqualifying me? I'm sure he's terrified. This is what you get for not accepting me, bastard. I is that mark are real? Of course, it's real. You must be terrified you found out that I'm a female alpha. Yes, sir. What are you doing? Where did you get that mark? I, uh, I, it's a private thing for me. Heck if I care. Learn to respect someone's privacy, dude. It doesn't mean that you're a CEO means you can just ask something private to a poor person. I know I'll regret this decision, but you're hired, I guess. Yes, sir. Are you joking? Why do you want me to take my words back? Sir, no, sir. Please. I don't want to go to another job interview anymore. Good. You're hired as my secretary. Sir, are you serious? I heard that it's a very high position for employees. Why? Don't you want the position? Oh, of course I want it. Who wouldn't? It has a high salary. Good. You start now. Okay, sir. And next time, wear something formal. Yes, sir. So, sir, as your secretary, what do I need to do? You do what I say for the whole day. You need to come in my house at 6 o'clock a.m. in the morning sharp. You need to meet up with my our big clients to explain what our company produce. Inform me if I have meetings, gather the important files and paperwork and give them to me. And lastly, did I made myself clear? Why yes sir. You're a very lucky person since you have a boss like me. I am, um, sure. I would like you to buy flowers, a celebrity is coming to see me today. I know she likes me so much since she cancelled her three concerts today just to meet me. Uh, as sure sir. How the heck did she got my mark? Here's your flowers, sir. Good. Now let's go to my house. What's your name? I'm Rose Veller. I'm Dylan Vermillion. Yes, sir. Why would I go to your H house? It's part of your job. Yes, sir. Is this your living room? It's so big. This isn't the living room, darling. This is the place where I welcome random people. Hi, Dylan. W. Wait. Is that Amy George? I can't believe that I really met her. Um. What's your name again? Oh, come on, Dylan. I know you're joking right now. How can you not remember me? I was just joking, Miss George. Anyway, what can you say about me today? I, um... Oh, my heck. Why is he looking at me? Hey, what should I say to her? W, wait. I think I heard Sir Dylan talking. I am talking to you, dummy. W, wait. How? I'll tell you later. Now, tell me, what should I say about her? Tell her she's beautiful in that outfit. You look beautiful in that outfit. I'm glad you like it. This outfit is really expensive. What else did you notice about me today? Rose, what else? Tell her she's stunning as always. You're stunning as always. Dylan, you don't have to say that. I already know. Did you prepare something for me? And Miss Amy, Sir Dylan wants to give you these. Really, Dylan? Is that really for me? 
They're beautiful. After that, yes, sir, is my job done? I believe it's far from done. I need to teach you many things about being a secretary. Okay. Fast forward. After that, at home. Wait a second. Is it me or my son looks exactly like Sir Dylan? Maybe I'm just tired. I'll sleep in the couch again. Mommy is heading to work now. Don't be a pain in the ass to your grandma, okay? Oh, of course, mom. Okay, kids. Be good, okay? Sure, mom. What time is it? I I'm sorry, sir. I told you to come to my house and am sharp. Yes, sir. L didn't mean to. I was taking care of my. Shut up with your stupid excuses. Wait. H he exactly looks like my son. Why are you staring at me like that? I it's nothing, sir. All right. Did you memorize my schedule today? Yes, sir. You have a scheduled meeting with a VIP client in 20 minutes. It's Mr. Ivan Moez, the CEO of Jepamall Worldwide. He wants you to be his bussiness partner since your company produces product. Okay, shut up. Moez and I will talk about that in our meeting. A person like me wouldn't miss that information. Now, darling, go ahead and assist Mr. Elijah while I'm getting ready. Okay, sir. Man, this person thinks he knows everything. This must be Mr. Moez. Hi, sir. You must be Mr. Ivan Moez. I'm Mr. Dylan Vermillion's secretary and he wants me to assist you while he's... No, I don't mind. I'm very pleased since this cutie here is assisting me. Wow. I am really glad to know that, sir. What's your name? I am Chloe, sir. I am sure you are aware that I'm Ivan Moez. Why, yes, sir. Mind if I can get your number? I am deeply sorry, sir, but I can't share any personal things to a stranger. Man, I like your attitude. Okay, stop flirting with one of my employees, Ivan. I'll get you soon, cutie. Man, I can't believe this boy is a CEO. Let's head to my house. Rose, come with us. Can we bring this cutie with us? Of course, why not? And Rose, since you're coming with us, don't ever get yourself close to this guy. Bro, this is the first time that you want a girl that. Don't worry, I won't steal her from you. I already have Chloe. Alright, let's head to my house. And starting from that day, of course he'd been ordering me around here and there. Time skip six months later. Did you memorize my appointments today? Of course, sir. Do you know what is it, Tomorrow? Yes, sir. It's bring your kids to work day. All right, then. Everyone will be more busy watching their kids while working. And since you don't have any kid, obviously, you'll be talking some of their jobs. Sir, that's so unfair. I have two kids. Why you have kids? Sir, you don't know I have two kids. Sir, I already have two kids ever since I worked here. I see. You already have a husband. Sir, I don't have any husband. Then how did you got two kids? I, uh, sir, it's kind of private. But I have a boyfriend. He's very sweet and caring. I'm not interested in love topics. When is my next meeting? In two hours, sir. Anyway, sir, how are you with Miss Amy George? Not interested in that topic either. Tomorrow. Okay, kids, if you make some trouble while I'm working, I'm gonna leave you both in there. Scarlet, aren't you rich? Why are you working as a cashier? To escape from my stupid, idiotic, and overprotective husband of mine. Wait, you have a husband? I have a kid. Of course I have a husband. Oh, I see. I didn't know you were working here, honey. Jay Josh, how did you found me? Wait, aren't you the VIP client today, Mr. Josh Vanna? I see. I'm a stupid, idiotic, and overprotective husband. Let's talk about this at home, okay? Let's go, kids. Mom, that lady earlier, she has the kids, right? Stop asking me to give you a sibling. Mom, please buy me a baby brother. All right, you two stay here, okay? Yes, Mom. Hi. Hello. What's your name? I'm Alan. Ashley. Alan, I need to bring this to Mom. Alan, can you watch my sister for me? Yes, sure. So, where's your kids? In the library. I can't let them disturb you, sir. Anyway, sir, why are you always wearing that patch on your face? A uh, nothing. You sure? Why? Are you doubting me? No, sir. I'm a go for a sec in the library to see all of the kids there. Yes, sir. I'm so sorry, sir. This kid looks exactly like me. Sir, can you help me find my mom?
Oh right, it's time to call my boyfriend. Daily check if he's fine or not. Where's my phone? I, I don't have it. Wait, don't tell me I lost it. No, I can't lost it. Rose, think. Just breath. Just breath. Oh right, I told Ash to hold it. Oh no, my boyfriend must be calling now. Yes, yes. What the hell is the meaning of this? Our Rose. What the hell? Our Rose, I'm sorry, but I'm, I love her. What did you say? I'm sorry. Wow, bravo. You said sorry cause I caught to proposing to a girl. I'm sorry Rose, but we're over. Sorry Rose, but I like. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Dylan, Dylan Vermillion. Vermillion. You may continue sir, mom. No need to say thanks. What the hell? I helped you there and then you're angry. What a stubborn lady. The heck. As far as I remember that was my first kiss. I may have a boyfriend but I still didn't kiss anyone. I am sorry. So, how was the kids in the library? Nothing much. I just escorted a kid back to the library. He said he's looking for his mom. And I found out that his mom told him to wait there. Wow. It seems that the kid you were talking about doesn't listen to his mom. Anyway sir, your appointment with Mr. Josh Vanna will be on 15 minutes. And the shocking thing is that his wife works here. As a cashier. Why would his wife work here? I'm not really sure. Alright go now then. Assist Mr. Josh Vanna. But sir, you really want me to go now. Listen darling. Some people are just like rain clouds. It's a beautiful day when they're gone. Am I that annoying? Probably. I'll make a research about that kid later. Wait, could it be? His name is Ash Veller. The same jazz name as Rose. No, think it's impossible. Sir, we have a huge problem. What? Miss Amy is here. She wants to meet you right now. And your appointment with Mr. Josh Vanna is in 11 minutes. You know what? You shouldn't have protected that peasant. I mean, you're a CEO. You can hang out with a beautiful singer like me. The peasant you're talking about is his wife. What company studio are you working for? She works for your company studio. Why you're Mr. Josh Vanna? You're fired. You will never be accepted ever again in my company for insulting my wife. Sir, I'm sorry. I swear, I will not do it again. My company will not sponsor you anymore, Miss Amy. Trying to seduce me and insulting my wife, eh? Get out of here before I say it in public. Dylan, I'm your girlfriend. Since when were you my girlfriend? Dylan, I... You okay, Scarlett? Yes, sir. Don't worry, she's gone now. Don't forget, Josh, your son is right behind us. You're dead when we get home. We should start our meeting in my office. Gotcha, Ashley. Ashley. Ash. Hi, Mom. Dylan, Rose, I didn't need you to have twins. What are you talking about? I don't have any kid. Why would I even have a kid with Sir Dylan? I would rather believe that plants can talk than me having a kid with Sir Dylan. Yeah, but tell me, who's the father of your kids? Um, I am sorry, sir, but my mom can't answer such a personal question. Shh, this talk is just for adults, dear. Sir, actually, I don't know who's the father of my kids. I don't even really know how I got kids. It's because you were drunk that time, Mom. You also promised us that you will find our dad one day. W, wait. So you don't know your father? Oh, I know. Sir, could you be our father? You, uh, it doesn't work that easily, dear. How do you make it work then? Your mom and Sir Dylan need to be married to make Sir Dylan your dad. Then, Mom, Sir Dylan, get married now. Don't say such things. Hey, are you sure that you don't know their father? I'm sure, sir. Why are you so curious about it anyway? We need to talk in private. But, sir, your appointment with Sir Josh. This is more important than any other appointments. Scarlett, Josh, please watch the kids. I'm a CEO, not a babysitter. What's your name? I'm Ray. I'm Ashley, and this is my brother, Ash. Nice to meet you, I guess. Now, answer me honestly. Who's their father? Sir, I told you, I don't know their father. Why are you so curious about them? You wouldn't understand. I'm their mother. I would understand anything about them. You wouldn't understand of what I feel about your kids. If you want to try to understand me, answer these questions. Why do I think that I met you before? How did you get that mark? 
And third, why do your kids look exactly like me? Sir, what are you talking about? Don't you get it? What would you feel that you had a kid for six freaking years and you didn't know you had one? I would be mad at myself. Then what do you think I am feeling now? I didn't knew I have kids since they were born. Uh, sir, what are you talking about? That Mark W what? S uh, sir I. If you don't remember me then. Why, you're that person. F from the bar. T this is nonsense. It's impossible. Why would you be their father? Now tell me, did you found out that you had twins in your stomach cause of that day? Okay fine, yes sir. So I was already a father since that day huh? It's impossible that you're the father of my kids. You still don't believe me? Well what do you think? I'm gonna do a DNA test with them. And if it's positive, I'll take them, and they have to live with me. What the hell? No way. What about me? I won't let my kids go. Well then, you'll be living with me to then. W what the? And mom! Ash. And mom, what are you doing here with Sir Dylan? Why you didn't heard what we're talking about, right? And no, I just got here. But mom, are you see cheating? D dear, I be broke up with my boyfriend. You don't need to know the reason. B but mom, are you gonna kiss Sir Dylan if I didn't come? And no, why would I? D then how did he have your mark? That's because we kissed before you came, Ash. I will never ever give them to you. Give who mom? I uh, give him my hairpin. Why you said them, you will give someone to Sir Dylan right. Who? I mean, our dog. W we will not give our dog to him. The two of them. W why would Sir Dylan want our dog? See cause they're athletic. Why do I feel bad for him? Sir Dylan, I'm sorry. But, you must be mistaken. There's no way they're your. That's why I'm taking a DNA test with them to confirm something. There's no way. Don't take them from me. You're speaking too soon, darling. Besides, I don't need many more proof to prove that your kids are my kids too. Shut up. I won't give them to you no matter what. And mom! Ash, it's nothing, don't worry. Me and Sir Dylan are just practicing something. And mom, why are you lying to me since I came here? I don't think you're ready to know why, Ash. Ash! Mom needs to talk to Sir Dylan in private, okay? Why, yes, Mom. For once in my life, I never wished to find the father of my children. Why? Were you here when I raised them alone for six years? Did you ever search for us even once in six years? Did I need you for us three to live? You didn't even know that my children exist. And lastly, did you know that my kids dreamed of having a dad even just for one whole day? Now give me one good reason why I would give you my children. Even if we end up in court, I will never give you my children. You're rich, right? You can hire as many lawyers as you want. But still, I will never give my children to you. You can't get everything you want in this world. Rose, do you know how long I looked for you? Wow, why would you look for a random stranger that you met in the bar? That's the most stupid lie that I ever heard in my life. Do you have something that is believable? I looked for you for two years, you know. Well, it looks like you don't have any more lies left to say. I may not regret what happened six years ago, but what I regretted now is that why I applied for this stupid job. Anyway, thanks for giving me two wonderful children though. But I will never give you my children, as long as I'm alive. Shut up. I'm also their father. I didn't knew I had children with you cause I didn't saw you again after that night. Yes. But don't ever expect that you will see me again after this day too. Rose, quit this nonsense. At least give me one day to be with my kids. Okay fine, but I will come with them. Chill, I'm not gonna take them away from you. Don't worry, I will let you come with them, Tamaro. The next day. And mom, are you sure we came to the right place? I mean, this place is too big. It's impossible that we would stay here for one day. There's no problem with it, Ash. W, wait. Aren't you Sir Dylan, my mom's boss? I am. Why do you want us to stay here for a day? Your dad, I mean Sir Dylan. Your mom meant future dad kids. D dad. You two can call me dad from now on. A uh, fine. Why you both can call him D dad? Mom, can we stay here forever? Of course. No, only for one day. Fine, one week. Thank you so much, Rose. Kids, you can roam a little in this whole house. You choose your own room. Thanks, Dad. You're the best. Don't spoil those kid too much, sir. You can call me Dylan. No need to call me, sir. Thank you so much for giving me a chance, Rose. Please, just, 
Don't take them away from me. I make no promises. What? Listen, I lost them for six years. I can't lose them again. I can't lose you again to Rose. What about me? I can't lose them too. I'm their mother. And I'm really sure I'm their father. I make no promises. Unless. Unless what? Unless you'll marry me. Quit this nonsense. I'm not in the mood for your stupid jokes. Good, cause I'm not joking. Dylan, hi. Um, may I ask who are you? It's surprising that you don't know me, Mr. Vermillion. I'm Emmeline, the most famous model in our country. I am also soon will be your wife. That's funny. And may I ask who you are? Do you know that you're talking to Mr. Vermillion's fiancé? Since when? I can't believe he's talking to me. Well, future fiancé. Shut up and get the hell out of here. W, who do you think you are? You don't know who I am? I'm afraid not since you're not famous or something. Do you see this mark in my face? I cancel my shooting for today just to come here. At least give me a kiss. You already know that I have already have a wife. I'm sorry, but I don't cheat. You can't get anything you want just because you're a famous model or whatever you are. And lastly, don't ever enter my house without my permission. Especially when I don't know you. Now will you please leave? My wife and I still have something to do. You'll regret this, I'll be a world famous model. You think you will become a world famous model after disrespecting me? That's funny. I'm gonna KGL this jerk for calling me his wife. I'll forgive you if you run along right now. I'm pretty sure she's here for me and for my sponsorship. You're really a jerk. Wife is too much. Darling, isn't it rude to call your boss a jerk? Well, I'm pretty sure I will submit my resignation letter when I get out of here. You're lucky I'm bad in writing letters cuz if not, I'm sure I'll submit it right now. I also forgot to say, my family will come here later. What the? Why did you tell us to come here today then? They didn't told me that they will visit me today until earlier. I will just go and check the kids for a moment. Man, I can't believe I finally found him after six years. I hope he doesn't remember what happened that night. Good thing I didn't remember anything in there too though. Not gonna lie, but I'm really embarrassed while talking to him now. Later. I'm still going to change. Would you mind to go to the living room? Well, I wouldn't mind to see you change. I. They're too young for love stories, Dylan. Um, are you alright? Dang, what the heck am I thinking? This is the movie that they chose. You can't just give them what they want you know. Darling, just shut up and watch the movie, okay? Mom, look, those two look exactly like Grandma and Grandpa, but in a younger version. <laughs> Mom, Dad, Bro. Dylan, son, how are you? I thought you would arrive here at night. We're supposed to come here in 8 p.m. but Mom is too excited to tell you the news. What news? You wouldn't like it. Why won't I like it? Son, I'm sure you'll be happy about it. Remember your high school crush, Melissa. Yeah, what about her? The good news is, me and her parents arranged you both. And mom, you're joking, right? Aren't you happy about it? You will be marrying your high school crush. D Dad, what's going on? Dylan's parents were confused. It's as if they regretted their decision to arrange their son with his high school crush. Dylan, H. How? Hey! A charming yet angelic looking girl walked into the room and catched everyone's attention. A feeling of anger and fear struck Rose as tons of questions suddenly came to her mind. M. Melissa? See, can you believe it? After many years, we would meet again and get married. Why you? What a nice surprise, Dylan. I can clap at you all day. D. Dylan, who is she? Oh, darling, don't worry. I'm nothing special to Dylan. Melissa, get out of my house now. B, but Dylan, I'm your fiancé. She's right, Dylan. She can't leave. Turns out that I'll still be the who will end up leaving. Man, I knew it. Elle shouldn't had come here. Okay, Dylan, me and my children will take our leave right now. Mr. and Mrs. Vermillion, it's nice to see you anyway. You too, Melissa. Ash, Ashley, we need to go now. Oh, and Dylan, as I said earlier, I quit. And for the last time, don't expect to see me or my children ever again. You're not going anywhere. Dylan, who is she? Dear, 
I told you, I'm no one special to Dylan. Nice to meet you but, why are you mad at Dylan? None of your business. But, I said none of your business. I'm not in the mood to talk right now okay? <sighs> Me and my kids are going to leave now. Sorry for interrupting you and your future husband. How pathetic you are Dylan. Seriously? In front of your kids? For the last time, you're not going anywhere. We need to talk. Talk about what? What I saw and heard here is enough. I'm done with your stupid reasons. Dylan, hey, why don't you let your employee resign? I'm sure she had her reasons. I also have countless reasons why I shouldn't let her leave. Okay, the first reason is that you have no reason. The second one is still nothing. So can I go now? I don't want to waste my time here. I still need to find another job. Would you please just let me explain? Dylan, your future wife is waiting for you to greet her and give her a kiss. Don't worry, it's okay. But Dylan, I just want to say that I missed you. I mean, Dylan, it's been six years. Dylan, see, your future wife is waiting. Just look at her, she dressed up for you. Give your cute little fiancé a warm welcome. Why would I give a cheater a hug? Cheater? Do you think I will marry a person like her? Dylan, I'm sorry, didn't mean to. I know I made a mistake and I really regretted it. Please forgive me. Melissa, I once heard a person say this. Cheating is not a mistake, it's a choice. Dylan, I'm really sorry, we're getting married soon. Why don't we just forget the past and focus on the present? Why, why, Melissa, Dylan, stop this drama. There are kids here. Watch your words. My kids are too young to hear those. Ash, Ashley, why don't you two just go to the other room? Me and the others are just going to have a long talk. Yes, mom. Hey, Dylan, can you please give me a second chance? Of course he'll say ye. Melissa, if you're not blind, you could see that I already have a Luna. Mom, Dad, please cancel my arranged marriage. I'm really sorry for doing that Dylan. I will cancel it right now. You can't cancel it. Dylan, I waited for you for six years. In this past six years, there's no day that I didn't thought of you. You're too overreacting. There's no day that you didn't thought of me. You right? More like two minutes every month. You don't have to cancel this marriage thing because of me. It's not like I like Sir Dylan or something. Hey, Dylan's girlfriend, are you dumb or something? Stay out of this kid. This is a conversation for adults, a 17-year-old kid like you should stay out of this. Heck if I care. I did not come to school to join this nonsense conversation. Everyone in here knows where this conversation will be going. We'll cancel this arranged marriage stuff right away, Dylan. Mum, please. I'm his high school crush. I'm sure he'll be happy with me. Melissa, as you can see, he already has a Luna. Oh, and Melissa, you need to know something. W what? I met Rose because of you. Shut up, Dylan. No one needs to know that. Man, I'll get out of here. Why you met her because of me? Whatever, this dude needs to remove my mark right now. Dylan, I just want you to know, I love you. I heard that word a hundred times. I hope you're right about your decision. Everyone was confused about what Melissa did as they were all left speechless. Why won't you two just get a stupid room? This is the last time Dylan. You won't see any of our children starting from now on. Rose. Mom, you're crying. Ash, Ashley, why don't you both teleport to our house? But mom, what about you? I'll explain later. Okay. From now on, I don't want to see your stupid face. S son. Are you three happy now? Why don't you all celebrate now? Why didn't you told us you have kids? What's the use? This day was going to be my first day with my kids. So mom, dad, Melissa, are you all happy now? Feel free to throw a party in this house. We did this for you cause we thought it would be for the best. Cool. You did this for me. By arranging me with Melissa. Mind if you tell me what to say to my kids and to Rose? It was for your company. If you won't get married and have a baby until next year, you need to step down from your position as the CEO. Then why didn't you just told me instead of arranging me with this girl? D. Dylan, those kids were your children. What do you think? Dylan, I, sorry I. Naive of you to think I will forgive you. You kissed me in front of her, just like how you kissed that boy in front of me six years ago. 
Dylan. Stop saying my name and get out of here. You ruined everything. For the last time, get out of here. I'm so sorry, Dylan. I'll tell my parents to cancel this arranged marriage. Mom, Dad, nice job. I lost Rose. Again. Son, we're sorry. We thought it would be for the best. Shut up with your stupid reasons. What have we done? Let them fix their own problems. But we're the one who caused it. It's better if we let them be. How did that kid manage to hide that he has children for six years? <laughs> why am I crying? I already know that thing will happen. So why am I crying? Isn't it a good thing? He can't take my kids away anymore. What the heck is wrong with me? That was his high school crush. It's pretty obvious on how he acts that he want her back. Hig school crush I? Rose, I'm the student council president. How many times do I have to tell you, dress code? Whatever Mr. Bossy school council president. Man, I wonder where he is now. He must be successful now. He's so serious in studying. While me, phew, nice life I ended up now with. Well, I guess I'll be expecting some wedding next month or week. I guess Sir Dylan is destined to be with Melissa cause they always meet whatever they do. I'll stay away from them both starting from now on. So I guess. This is goodbye huh? Rose, where the heck are you? I can't lose you. Again. This is her phone. How am I supposed to look for her now? I lost her for three times. <laughs> What's the name of this boy? And where does he live? It's not important, Kyle. I don't want to talk about him anymore. Rose, who's this boy? Dad, he's my boss. Your boss? Don't worry, Dad. We're not really official. He was just arranged with his high school crush. You like him? Where does he live? Let me have a nice chat with him. How old is he? He's still 23, but two days older than me. He even had the guts to make my sis cry. It's okay, bro. I just found out that he's Ashley and Ash's father. But still, that doesn't mean we could be together. He's the CEO of the company you work for. The company's name is Vermilion Production. Let me do some research about him. Dad, you don't need to. I swear. It's not his fault. Don't worry. I only need information for his address, name, and telephone number. Dad, I swear. It's really not his fault. I just found out he's the father of my grandchildren. Why wouldn't I approach him? Dad, I'm coming with you. Dad, bro, you don't have to. And maybe they're planning for their wedding right now. We can't disturb them yet. I don't give a damn even if he's the CEO of a company or whatever. He doesn't have any rights to make my daughter cry. D Dad, your blood pressure. I'm still 42. I'm too young to have a heart attack. Dad. It's okay, don't worry, let's just not bother them. Sorry dear, but we can't do that. You need to come with us to talk to him. And mom, I told you, they must be planning for their wedding right now. I don't give a damn. You know what, I'm just gonna end him today. Dad, don't go that far. I swear, it was my fault. We don't need to bother him. If you don't want to tell us, we'll find him ourselves. Fine, I'll tell you guys, but I'll go there alone. Why am I drinking again? Oh right, I lost one of my employees today. But why am I drinking cause of an employee? <coughs> nah, I can't remember why. What's the name of that employee again? Rice. Hum, I don't think so. Rosa. Or was it? Rose. And who could this be? Who would visit me this late at night? Mr. Vermilion, are you gonna open or what? A girl's voice? Oh my, hello there. Um, boss. Wait, are you Rose? Yes, why? Oh, so you're the employee who quitted without submitting any resignation letter? Uh, sir? Ella, what are you doing? Oh, so you're the reason why I'm crying earlier. Sir, are you alright? Something's off with you. Don't worry, darling. I'm completely fine. What's that thing you're holding? What the heck is this? A Mountain Dew soft drink? Hmm. Oh my, it doesn't taste that bad. Wait, don't drink that. That's an expensive grape wine. I just placed that in a bottle. What the hell? Why did you put it in a Mountain Dew soft drink bottle? Ha 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 ha. I feel funny. Hey, that's not funny. There's just a few of those in the whole world. 
Ha 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 ha, you're so funny. What am I doing here again? Hey, give that back. Oh yes, I'm here for a person named Villain. A person named Villain? I don't have any time for your stupid jokes or whatever. So what are you doing here? What the? Who putted me in my bed? Nah, it must be mom. Our Rose, what the heck is she doing here? Rose, wake up. Hey, can you shut up? The purse bin is still sleeping if you're not blind. Hey Rose. D Dylan. Oh, right. I remember now. What the heck? Rose, I want to say. Yes, I know. You're getting married, Mr. Vermilion. I'm happy for you. Rose, you quite misunderstood me yesterday. Sure, sure. Yeah, right. Mr. Vermilion, let's just not talk about that. I don't want to talk about what happened yesterday. I just want to say, I'm allowing you to spend your time with Ash and Ashley this week. Unless your wedding is this week. Rose, I'm not getting married, okay? For whoever's sake, don't give me false hope, idiot. You know, you don't need to lie. I'm not lying. It's already obvious. I heard everything with my own ears. I saw it all with my own eyes. What other proof could you give to make me believe that was not true? Just let me explain. This will just waste my time, but I guess I have a spare time to let you explain. Wait, really? What? Take it or leave it. Of course I'll take it. After explaining. That's what really happened. So I misunderstood everything. L overreacted too much. I'm really sorry for misunderstanding everything, sir. I'm really, really sorry for yelling and slapping you, sir. I don't know why I overreacted that much. It's okay. Do you forgive me now, though? Sir, what are you talking about? I should be the one who's supposed to say sorry. I'm gonna take that as a yes. Can I see our kids now? Sure. 